I'll apologize in advance for the simplicity of this tutorial, but honestly, before noticing this navigation tool, I was wasting quite a bit of time trying to get my model in the correct orientation. For reference, this is work I've done by following a tutorial by Lewis that you can find at Foundation 3D. I'll put up a link later in the video. First, let's talk about the basic shortcut key navigation in LightWaves Modeler. Basic shortcut key navigation on a Windows box uses the Control, Shift, and Alt keys in combination with the left mouse button. So, for camera zoom, hold down the Control plus Alt plus left mouse button. You see the icon changes to a magnifying glass, and you can go right to zoom in, left to zoom out. Normal stuff there. Camera pan is Shift plus Alt and you'll see that your icon changes to the diamond shape and now when you hold down the left, left mouse button and slide around you're just panning the camera around your object. The object itself is not moving relative to the axis but, but you can change where your um, camera is aimed. And then finally is the orbiting tool and this is the one that's the crux of what I'm talking about here. So normal orbit you hold down the alt key left mouse button and now you're orbiting around some pivot point that's based on probably the center of your model and that's all fine but say I want to look at this key hole part of the model and I want to see what its relationship is and compared to the um, rear part of this car so when I try to orbit around I'm holding down the alt key you see that the key hole's getting away from me and you know you can do things like slide it around pan it over and then zoom in and and, and that works pretty well but even stout when I start um, orbiting the thing gets away from me so I'm gonna hit a to zoom out this other key that you have is the shift a fit selected and what I can do I'm in polygon mode but this works in point mode edge mode doesn't matter I can select a few polygons I can just select one if I want and now I hit shift a to zoom in on that area now I can back out but the cool thing is this has changed the pivot point of the camera which is really cool because now I can look at its angle um, I can look at that part of the model in reference to other things around it and see how it fits in see if I've got any problems there I'm going to drop the selection hit A to zoom out again uh, the other place I saw this was really handy was when I was working on this um, chrome piece here again I select it shift A I can back out away from it holding down the control alt plus left mouse button but see I'm pivoting now you know, before I was pivoting around where that keyhole is, now I'm pivoting right around this spot so it makes it easy to see um, what's going on in that area. The other place that this was really handy um, was when I was trying to smooth out the top of the car. Again, Shift A, and now I'm rotating right around that point. I can, now you want to unselect if you want to take your sub patching off, but, but now I can look and, you know, try to see places where there might be bumps here. Uh, where the curve, see the curve here might not be smooth. I can I can go into those areas, Shift A, and now I can rotate around that point and see if it works. Um, see how that w looks from different angles close by. And anyway, this has um, saved a lot of time. I obviously still have a long ways to go on this model, but um, very handy once I understood what Shift A was doing. I wanted to show you the Foundation 3D site and Lewis's car tutorial is right here. Uh, it's a great price and a great tutorial. Take care.